I'm Satorio Phil, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a more detailed video on what I was calling my holy grail item from Louis Vuitton that I had picked up earlier in Paris. This technically wasn't a spring summer 2019 item, but it took almost a year to complete. So in my haul, I have other spring summer 2019 items from the men's collection. So this is the strap, and this is the monogram titanium clutch box. This was from Kim Jones's last collection for Louis Vuitton men's in the fall winter 2018 collection. So this was on the runway, as well as they had a version that was like a more like a they called a wallet clutch, and then they also had a Sherpa backpack, like a really large titanium backpack. The titanium collection, there's two versions of it. This is the one where it's actually hard sided and it's made out of real titanium. And then the other collection is more of a nylon type fabric with a silver color and with the monogram on it. So the way it's made, it's pretty much made like an actual trunk. You can see all the corner details all these nails and then there's these two hinges here which you would attach the shoulder strap to which I'm going to show you in a bit also in this video I'm going to show you what it looks like on as well and then there's a part here that's actually leather it's kind of like an accent that goes throughout it so both sides, the bottom and the top, are the same. And it's a little bit more reflective right now because the film that they put on this when they made this is still on it. It's a, it's a thin cling film that's just on the two of the faces, but it's not on the side. So this one is the titanium. You can kind of see the air bubbles a little bit there. So these are the locks, you just, but this one has either a magnetic closure or some sort of spring mechanism because it doesn't just open, even though these are unlocked, you actually have to apply pressure to it to pop it open like that. It's a folded interior and this is all calfskin. It's all leather. It's not fabric. You can see the like Viquetta color here as well. And on the inside, you have one central zippered compartment, which has the item number and the code. So this one, it's titanium exterior. I think they forgot to translate that to English. It should be titanium exterior, cow hide or cow lining and cow trims as well. So this is the product information, the clutch box titan M20101. I think this was US was 22,000 or 23,000 and in euros it's 17,000 euros. So that's probably one of the most expensive trunks that are this size and it's because of the material and the fabrication. It's really the first time they did this and it's part of the reason why it took so long for them to finish creating this. So this is all still the same leather. There's no textile lining. This zip pocket is all leather as well. All the hardware, I think it's all titanium because it's a darker gray, kind of like the same as the exterior. It's a darker color. It could be plated like the monogram eclipse, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's also titanium along with the hinges and the metal hardware on the shoulder strap, which I'm going to show you. So it's just two open compartments, but one is larger than the other. You can see the bottom here. When I turn it on its side, you can kind of see better that the top half is slimmer than the bottom half. And that's reflected, that's reflected in the pockets or the slots as well. This one's a little slimmer and this one's a little larger. So that is the tag in type inside Louis Vuitton Paris made in France 
from the runway men's runway collection fall winter 2018 and then there is the stamp inside as4168 so this was pretty much finished i think in december of 2018 pretty close to december and as is where they make all of their trunks in anye i think it's pronounced it's a a s n i e r e s and that's just right outside of paris so that's pretty much where they make all their special order trunks. This is the strap that it comes with. It's leather. It's a leather strap. I think it might be the Vaqueta leather. I'm not sure if it's going to patina, but it's really the same color and it has the classic yellow stitching as well as the red glazing. I think that's an homage to the house Louis Vuitton being his last collection because a lot of the men's goods didn't have this, this type of leather. The hardware is also in like a gray tone color or a more gunmetal gray, just like the one on the trunk. So that's why I think it's titanium, but if it's not, then it's also plated like the monogram eclipse pieces, which also feature the darker metal. And then you do have a, like a nylon webbing strap here and then you have some leather, other leather trimmings as well. And then you have the clasp down here, which is also in the same darker gray metal. So that's the same on both sides. It is adjustable here, so you can wear it as a longer or shorter crossbody. I don't think it's really meant to be worn as a shoulder bag because this strap is pretty thick. And then the underside is blank. So these clasps connect to the trunk here on the side with the D-rings. There it is connected with the strap. Next, I wanted to show you what fits inside and I'm gonna give you the dimensions. It's about eight and a half inches wide by six inches tall and then it's, it's three inches deep. But because of the way it's created inside, there's two large to two larger pockets and a central one you can't fit something that is exactly that size and plus on the inside you don't have the full eight inches here because it's inset due to the wood and the leather that they use what's good for size comparison is a Braza wallet like the normal ones not the spring summer 2019 one with the hinge so this is the monogram galaxy from pre-spring and you can see it's the width is slimmer than this and it basically just barely fits. You can put it in the smaller one but it won't close because you can see the way the leather is folded here it's going to press up against the wallet and it's not going to close properly. So you can slide it in the bottom and it fits pretty well but it still pushes up against it a little bit so that's why when you if you just let it go down like this, it won't close. You do have to press it down and then it engages the lock. So you can fit a regular Braza wallet in there, but it's not as quick and easy to get out. And these are the Millionaire, the new 1.1 sunglasses. And the same issue with the top, the smaller one, you can put it in, but then it's not going to close because of the way this is gusseted. So you do have to use the bottom one. And these are pretty chunky glasses. So I think this case should pretty much be able to fit almost all glasses, unless it's the shield ones. They would definitely fit the Dior composite that I have. And, but you can't put the leather case in here, so 
you would just probably have the dust bag and that would close just fine. What I would use for the top one is probably my card wallet, my, the pocket, yeah, the card wallet or the organizer, and then my phone, which fits on top and would actually close. So I can put both my wallet and my phone, which is an iPhone 10, in the smaller compartment on top without it not being able to close. And of course you can see here there is still space. And I mean I could put I could probably put my card wallet in here too if I wanted to be more secure. It would definitely slide right in. I can put my phone in there too, but honestly I usually have my phone out and it's available for quick access. So usually my phone's actually in my pocket or in my hands. But it's still nice to know that I can fit the phone in here in case I don't have any pockets and I totally want to be hands-free. You can, as you can see, I mean, there's definitely enough space to put your keys in here. It would fit the key holders. I don't have one of those, but I think if I were to put my keys in there, I would need to put it in some sort of holder because this is all soft leather and you're not going to want your keys to be scratching up against the insides of it because I can assure you it's definitely going to leave a mark. Some stuff that I might also carry might be some mints. There's definitely space for like lip balm and a small hand lotion, especially in the winter time I sometimes carry a small one. And that's, I mean that's usually my essentials, it's just missing my keys but that's because I don't have a key holder. So if I was going to put my keys in here I'd probably put it in another one of these jewelry or sunglass dust bags so it doesn't scratch up the interior lining. And it's actually not bad accessing this because when you have it on your shoulder it's going to open up like this and like the petite mall you have these gussets to prevent this from flying completely open and your stuff just falling off all over the place so when you have this on your shoulder and use that as crossbody, once you open it, it's not too inconvenient to figure out what you want to get and didn't take it out. And then next, I'm going to show you what it looks like on. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Check me out on Instagram where I'll be posting more pictures of this being worn in Paris and I'm certainly going to wear it more here as well 
for events. I don't think I'm gonna wear this as a everyday casual bag. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.